Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to be having a discussion on equipment for Mechanical Turk. So here are the points I'm going to be making in the video. If you just want to go ahead and take a picture of that or whatever, I'm going to be moving it off to the side in a second. But before I start, I just want to say that you don't have to have a crazy setup to do Mechanical Turk. Just like anything else in life, you typically want to use what you have first. You might give up on Mechanical Turk, you might find out that you don't like the work, or you might find out that you're not fast enough to be able to earn above minimum wage. These are all important things and you need to consider that before you do start investing into a better computer setup. So let's go ahead and start off with the laptops. Now I'm going to give a laptop recommendation and then at the end of the video I'll also give a uh, something for the PCs because I'm assuming most people here are using laptops quite frankly because not everybody has a thousand dollars to throw at a gaming PC so let's go ahead and start off with the laptop assuming that you're going to keep your old laptop or whatever you have right now here are a few things that will hopefully help you when it comes to using it so first thing is to make sure that it doesn't overheat there are a few ways to do this obviously the most the simplest I would say out of the bunch is to get a cool environment pretty simple assuming you're inside this could be pretty easily done if you're outside and it's hot try and go inside the next thing is to elevate the laptop elevating the laptop there are plenty of laptop stands and I will have one down linked in the description elevate the laptop what this will do is make it so that the laptop heat sink actually goes down instead of just pressing up against the laptop when it's on a flat surface so pretty simple concept but that's something you might not have thought about and the next thing is possibly if you're not elevating the laptop use a laptop cooling mat what a laptop cooling mat will basically allow you to do is just dispel the heat better so again something else to give it to the heat there's also use a laptop heat sink Again, these are all basically things that help get rid of the heat from your laptop. You don't want your laptop overheating and it breaking and you not being able to do MTurk. So aside from that, there's also clean your laptop of dust and don't work on your bed. These two are one in the same. Basically, what I'm saying is that you don't want to get dust in your PC. So the bottom of the laptop is probably where the fans are, probably where the laptop likes to breathe and dispel heat. Well, if it's breathing on the bed where you sleep and where you spend a third of your life on, where you shed a bunch of skin, it's going to be sucking that up and it's not going to be good. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a decent laptop if you are interested in that. There is a Lenovo ThinkPad T420. The Lenovo ThinkPads are relatively good used or refurbished laptops they have pretty good keyboards to type on relatively decent then they also have a little thing in the middle so that you don't have to actually use the um, touchpad if you don't want to use that it can be faster like that so yeah there's that we're gonna go back to this so if you're using a physical not a physical if you're using a desktop setup like I am what I'm personally using here are a few things that can help you with that so if you don't already have decent fans for your PC get better fans you know better fans better cooling and on the same topic don't overclock your PC if you don't know what you're doing you're gonna end up destroying your PC and it's not gonna be good just for that extra little ounce of performance it's not worth destroying your computer Again, it depends on if you know what you're doing. The next thing is to buy more RAM. More RAM is important for those of you who are going to be using lots and lots of scripts like me. I have 8 gigabytes of RAM and I still feel like sometimes my computer does slow down a bit. But having more RAM will be better for multitasking. So if you're using scripts, if you're listening to something on Spotify, if you have a bunch of Chrome tabs open like you might have on your computer for whenever you do MTurk, you know, that's going to be really, really helpful. Now, the next thing is to buy a second monitor. 
What will this allow you to do? Well, this will allow you to do quite a few things. You can have your work all on one monitor and then all the extra processes or maybe even your Amazon uh, worker ID on the other monitor. There are a lot of things you can do with a second monitor, you know? So if you have the extra money, get a cheapo, maybe $30, $40 monitor. It doesn't have to be anything crazy because it's not your main display. And aside from that, I do want to touch on the topic of gaming PCs, gaming computers. This is, you know, something I want to talk about really fast. So gaming computers are going to be able to more or less, depending on how much you spend on them, be able to use Mechanical Turk to its full extent. So yeah, there's that. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a RAM recommendation. So. What I, rec what I would recommend doing is if you have the extra money, spend the 130 some odd dollars and buy 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is the G-Skill Ripjaws V-Series 2 by 8 gigabytes of RAM DDR4. So if you're getting into Mechanical Turk, you're going to need RAM and these are pretty good sticks of RAM. So... Guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below. If you want me to do a specific video, go ahead and leave that again in the comments down below. And I'll go ahead and answer them to the best of my abilities. Thanks everybody for watching and happy turking. That didn't sound good. I'm just going to end the video. That's, that sounded awful.